No moi, it is Joinin, and welcome to My Story Animated's most disliked video. Except, that's a lie. That is two lies, because first of all, My Story Animated is no longer called My Story Animated. It is the channel previously known as My Story Animated, for it is now simply MSA previously My Story Animated. <laughs> <laughs> I assume this part won't stay for super long. I don't know why they decided to shorten their channel name to MSA. It feels like a weird move to me, but that is the case. Either way, it is still the same old My Story Animated that we all know and love. Secondly, dislikes don't exist anymore, okay? We all know that. We, it's like, the, it's the big... It's the big elephant in the room. How can you find the most disliked video when dislikes don't exist? Now, yeah, there's extensions you can install to like figure out what videos had, you can see the dislikes, but like the channel also has like a kajillion videos. And I'm not gonna go through every single video and click it just to count how many dislikes it has. Instead, we're gonna be using the tool we used to find out the dislikes, a tool called Shuffing, which lets you put in a channel URL and find out what videos uh, have the most dislikes. Now, they don't exist anymore, so those stats don't exist anymore. What we do have is likes per view. So if we put this to a minimum, we get a couple videos here that have the least likes per view video. Yeah, that's not dislikes. But at this point, when the only thing that you can see is likes, it's kind of the same thing, okay? We have here uh, a couple. Let's say these two. They both have less than 0.01 likes per view, which is not very many. They're both fairly short. We'll start at the second least liked per view. My story animated, sorry, MSA video. And then we'll move on to the least liked per view video. That means we start off with, I became an Instagram star overnight. Now, I don't know. What makes this one so bad? But I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Joining his Gigamax brain. <laughs> yeah, we, we got there in the end, all right? We explained how this works. We're there. Let's have a look what makes this video so bad. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I want to tell you about how I became popular on Instagram. With that- Cool, Natalie. I'm so interested. Please. <laughs> Please tell me how you got so popular on Instagram. I need to know. Thousands and thousands of followers. Okay, so it all started about a year ago. I had been stuck okay. with only 500 followers. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Loser alert. 500 followers? I'm sorry. Talk to me when you've got a couple more, okay? I wanna hear it. For what felt like forever, I noticed that other people in my school were reaching more than 1,000 followers and some even more than 10,000. I was seriously jealous. Wow. I just wanted to be popular like them. They were always posting photos of themselves on the beach with their perfect golden tans and their perfectly defined abs. Their weekends seem- <laughs> Okay, yep, all right. Okay, so it seems like there's, you know, a little bit of a correlation. You have perfectly tanned skin, gonna have sweet abs if you want 12,000 Twitter, tw Instagram followers. Hot dog legs. Yeah, hot dog legs. Hot dog legs is the answer. I actually am genuinely curious as to what makes this video the least liked video on the whole channel. To be jam-packed with constant fun, whereas I would be at home trying to finish my essays and looking after my baby sister while my mom worked night shifts in the hospital. I see. Uh, it's a matter of circumstance. It happens. Some people grow up in privileged environments where they get to post their hot dog legs on the beach all day, every day. And then there's you, you know, you gotta do your homework, you know? You can't have your good grades and Instagram followers. You can't have both. You had to choose. Just so she could afford to send me to school. One day during the summer holidays, after I finished vacuuming the house, I was scrolling through my Instagram feed and I just felt the surge. Sideways? You were scrolling sideways? Of envy run through me. Chris was surfing in Hawaii. Colette was doing yoga in Bali. And here oh. I was running laps around the garden, trying to keep up with my baby sister. I- oh. That'll never get you Instagram famous. Just doing laps with your baby sister? How did you do it? Had enough. No one was liking my photos of my morning smoothie bowls, even though I what? was using the right hashtags. No one- That's crazy! <laughs> cared that I was working at the local cinema. Nothing exciting was happening in my life at all. <laughs> no one cared that I was working at the cinema? This is, this is, this is a bunch of bull poop. There, I said it. 
Yeah, I said a naughty word. No one cares that I work at the cinema. I'm sorry. I'm not in Bali, okay? Oh, so I decided to change that. I ran to my computer and opened Photoshop. I pulled up a <gasps> selfie I did in that morning with my green smoothie. And Here we go. The answer. The answer. I became an Instagram star overnight. You want to know? <laughs> you want to know how? Photoshop. You lie. You put yourself in places you didn't actually go. That'll do it. And then I searched online for a photo of a faraway tropical looking beach. Far away tropical looking beach. Far away from what? Let's search this. Far away tropical looking beach. I guess it works. <laughs> Five minutes later, I created a new account and uploaded the photo. And then oh. I watched and watched as slowly Whoa. the likes and comments began pouring in. Something Whoa. shifted inside <laughs> me then. People were believing me. They actually- It can't work like that. <laughs> the one thing that's stopping you from getting thousands and thousands of followers is you're not taking a photo on a beach. <laughs> not how it works. <laughs> what do you- No. Okay, what? You say you can't just take a photo on a beach and get massively big on Instagram? I really believed I was on a proper summer vacation. The next day, I shared more photos. One of me snorkeling with turtles. And <laughs> Imagine taking that photo. Literally getting out like a scuba outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Propping yourself up on the couch. Hey, can you take a photo of me real quick? <laughs> yeah, it's from my new Instagram. I'm like super famous, but like, gotta keep up the, gotta keep up the illusion. And then another of me paragliding off a mountain. By the end of the week, I was up to 3,000 followers and it felt amazing. People were commenting oh. and sending heart emojis and a really famous Instagram influencer even. <gasps> Famous Instagram influencer. I had been to the same resort last year and, uh, and she hoped I was having the most incredible time okay all right first of all that really famous big instagram influencer not real that is a robot just like switched from talking about the she hoped i i had been she hoped i was and private messaged me to say she had been to the same resort last year and she hoped i was having the most incredible time my heart started racing it felt so good to be receiving all of this attention that weekend mm -hmm. i called in sick to work and stayed in my room talking to all my new followers on my page my mom asked oh. me to babysit as usual and i can't mom i'm too busy at home being a marker influencer on instagram okay i got Bands to respond to. You think I got time to babysit? <laughs> Have you seen the photo of me scuba diving? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Everybody has. So I arranged some toys for my sister to play with on the floor. Whilst I sat at my desk on Photoshop, I was just about to share a photo of me kissing my new Spanish boyfriend, whom oh. I'd found on a modeling website. When I heard modeling sites, <laughs> uh, that's a bad move. You're gonna get, you're gonna get called out for that one. That's for sure. People know models. Heard a crashing sound followed by some screaming. I turned around and hadn't even noticed my door was open. I rushed out and there was my baby sister crying her eyes out. She had fallen and banged her head and it was all my fault. You forgot about your little sister. In in all in you were caught up in your fame and you forgot about your own family. I dropped my phone and ran to pick her up and comfort her. She clung onto me and soon I was crying too. In Is this like, are we trying to like, are they trying to convey some sort of message here? It's the pussycat dolls. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. <laughs> you wanna be Instagram famous? Think about how it'll affect your family. In that moment, I barely recognized myself. I'd always been a good student. I'd never called in sick to work what before. If I and it's not like I had no friends. So what was I playing at? After my sister had calmed down, I picked up my phone. I clicked on Instagram and suddenly I just felt sick. What had I done? What have I done? <laughs> I fooled all these helpless people into believing that I'm live a cool life i'm such a horrible person it's like it's like catfishing but like for the places you've been <laughs> looking through my past week of photos i realized i was nothing but a liar and then mm. i thought to myself what if everyone i know is doing the same thing what if exactly that's the truth yep that's the takeaway message the truth is no one actually goes on holidays <laughs> It's all Photoshop. You ever been on a holiday? I don't think so. Do you know anyone that's been on a holiday? Think again. <laughs> Whenever your family member comes back and they want to show you all their their Fiji photos, nah, they just they just went away and sat on their computer for a couple weeks, Photoshopping the whole thing. 
Holidays don't exist. Colette wasn't in Bali and was just doing headstands in her bedroom. And wait a mm. minute, what is wrong with that? Why are we trying to make our lives seem more glamorous? What's wrong with posting photos of our cats or photos of us in our garden? I the message here is so bizarre. It's so weird. Think about it. Think about how you use Instagram, okay? Maybe you don't have to post photos of your of your holidays all the time, all right? Maybe just post a photo of your cat. <laughs> Clearly I've taken this one to heart. <laughs> I went to Japan for like three months and I think I posted like four photos or something like that. Meanwhile, every photo since has been on my cat. <laughs> it's been off my cat. I had become so obsessed with getting followers that I'd ignored my baby sister who could have got badly hurt. And I- She did, by the way. You might want to- take her to get a checkup. Even ignored my real friends. I immediately deleted the account I'd created and went back to enjoying my real life. Because when I really thought about it, my life was actually pretty exciting, just the way it was. And I certainly okay. didn't need like- When I'm thinking about it, my cinema life is actually, my job at the cinema is actually pretty good and maybe even better than going on a trip to Bali. Like, if you really think about it. <laughs> or followers to remind me of that. Sometimes we just need a little scare to wake us up now and again. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought the takeaway message was already a little bit messed up. Your takeaway message is, you know, sometimes you just gotta get your baby sister to get a big bonk on the head. To really wake you up and think about whether you should care about Instagram or not. And bring us back to reality. And hey, reality is pretty cool, isn't it? I've realized that just being real and authentic is so much more important than telling lies just to get likes. <laughs> I realized that letting my little baby sister getting bonked on the head just makes your life better. Because it makes you realize what really matters. And that's Posting photos of cats on Instagram. So the next time you share something on Instagram, just be yourself. What do you think of this story? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know about that story. I think it's amazing at the fact that you realize what you're doing. It takes bravery to do so. You may not have said anything, but actually deleting the account and doing normal everyday activities makes you a good person. I can't believe that people watch these and they just genuinely, they're like, Whoa. right. This has changed my life. <laughs> All right, but that wasn't the least likes per view video on MSA's channel. No, it was the second least liked per view video on MSA's channel. There's one more. There is the cream of the crop. And that is, I wish I didn't find my mum's secret door. <gasps> This is Purview, the least liked video on My Story Animated's channel. It is apparently a vertical video, <laughs> uh, which is something they must have tried out once and decided that was not the move to make. So let me, with a little bit of magic, there we go, verticalized. This one immediately sounds far more ominous, despite the fact that in the other one, she was like burning her house down in the thumbnail. But anyway. Hi, I'm Lizzie. And Hi, I recently discovered something strange in my house. The my family door? had lived Mom door? in this house ever since I was born. So it's really bizarre that I'd only discovered this at the age of 14. I guess my family is quite secretive. My dad is away on business trips a lot. Mm, and he doesn't tell me much about man. what he does. Yep. I, uh, I do business things. What do you do for work, daddy? Business. What kind of business? What do you, what's your, what's your day to day look like? I wake up at eight. I get on a plane and go do business. And my mom has always been at home with me and my brothers. But occasionally she does write some articles for magazines and stuff. Oh, okay. Write some, write some articles for magazines. Careful of her secret door. My mom has a lot of friends. And they okay. are always over at our house, especially when my dad is away. It's kind of annoying because she doesn't hang out with me much since she's always with them. Ah, uh, yep. Get pushed to the side. Your mom's got cool friends that she wants to hang out with and you're not cool enough to be one of them. Right. And whenever I ask if I can join, she says no because they're talking about adult stuff. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Interesting. These women usually come over once or twice a week and they gather in our basement. The basement in our house is awesome. Oh, pretty lit. You got a freaking epic basement. You got a woman's, your woman cave? <laughs> basement <laughs> it's full of comfy seats like cushions and bean bags and it's just a nice space to relax in okay cool nice is that the that's not the secret door <laughs> lady lair okay that's that's actually pretty good man cave and lady lair yeah on the nights my mom's friends are over i'm not allowed down there it's a this is getting a little bit sus, you know? I, <laughs> I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. Your mom's saying she's not letting you hang out with them because they're talking about adult stuff and then you're not allowed in their comfy basement with all the comfy seats and I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Weird, because they're always so quiet and I never hear them laughing or anything. One night, my curiosity got the better of me. Okay. All right, <laughs> what, ha what happened next? And I decided to go down and see what they were doing. It was deadly silent. And I thought maybe they weren't even there. I opened the door to the basement as quietly as I could. Witchcraft? Maybe, probably, you know, <laughs> bet it's a cult. It's probably a cult, silent cult meeting. Ah, you won't, you'll be bored, okay? Don't come and bother us. It's just boring. It's boring, it's boring cult things. Lots of candles. <laughs> we did summon a goat-headed man once. He just appeared. That was kind of awkward. Didn't really know. You know, do you, you offer him a drink? And tiptoed down the stairs. I couldn't believe it. There was no one there. But it didn't make sense. I'd literally watched them with my own eyes go down into the basement about 30 minutes ago. Oh, spooky. Spooky. Well, you don't get animated stories like this anymore. This one's what, uh, almost three years old at this point. If they'd left the house, I hadn't heard the door. As I looked around the basement. Right, okay, so now, now we find the mum's secret door down in the basement. The basement has a basement all along. <laughs> basement, I noticed the bookcase wasn't in its usual spot. <gasps> I went up to it and that's when I noticed it. Behind the bookcase was a door. <gasps> I just stood there and sh <laughs> It's just, uh, you just open the door and it's just all the ladies smoking cigarettes. It's like, ah, oh, I didn't want you to see. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Mum's guilty addiction. I just didn't want my kids to know I was smoking, so just... Had this always been here? Well, it wasn't installed yesterday, probably. I put my ear up to the door and I heard my mom's voice. She was inside some kind of secret room. I suddenly panicked and ran back upstairs to the kitchen. <laughs> ah, mom's in a secret room. <laughs> Panic. This was too weird. I didn't mention it to my mom, but what? I couldn't sleep that night. I kept wondering what she was doing there. After I was sure my mom was in bed, I went back to the basement and moved. All right, here we go. Here we go. What's behind? The secret door! The bookcase as quietly as I could. The door was unlocked and I opened it. I held my breath. I had no idea what to expect. Right. Tell us. Tell us. As I walked in, I was hit by the strong scent of incense. I turned on the light and just stared. The room wasn't very big, but it was covered in these strange paintings. It is a cult. It is a cult? I don't even know how to describe them. There were some with angels, and some looked terrifying. Especially this one of women gathered in a forest around a fire. On the floor... <laughs> Nothing scarier than women around a fire in a forest. Singing a couple camp... Camping tunes. <laughs> terrifying. It was a huge rug, and in the middle were a lot of objects I'd never seen before. There were tarot cards and crystals and rocks and a round wooden board with strange symbols on it. It is a cult? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This is so bizarre. I instantly felt uneasy. I shouldn't have been in there. There was even a long wooden thing that looked like some kind of wand. 
What was my mom doing down here? Witchcraft, apparently, in a very strange turn of events. <laughs> It's like simultaneously the most predictable yet most unpredictable thing at the same time. I decided to leave before anything scary happened. The inner cosplayers, they go down there in their secret lair room to cosplay next to the photo of the the camp, the camp singing. She in the room didn't feel right. I left making sure I left everything as it was before so my mom wouldn't notice. The next time the women came over was two days later. This was my chance. After about 20 minutes okay. of them being here, I went to the basement and looked through the keyhole and- Yeah, you don't want them to see you. They're... You know what they're gonna have to do if they see you seeing them? You're gonna be sacrificed to the devil. I'm just, I'm sorry. That's just, that's just how it works. I could see my mom sat in the middle of the circle. She had her hands on some kind of crystal ball, and her eyes looked all wild and crazy, and she was oh my gosh! Some of the women were grinning, and some looked shocked. None of them are grinning. <laughs> None of them look shocked either. They all look quite upset with this whole situation. I felt so uncomfortable watching this. Suddenly, my mom stopped chanting. And she started floating. <laughs> and turned to the women and started telling them things about her life. The woman was crying and saying how it was all true. The woman was crying and saying how it was all true. Yeah, yeah, you just said you just said that. And that my mom was amazing, and the best fortune teller she'd ever been to. Okay, your mom's a fortune teller. Okay, for some reason that's that's just a whole lot less weird, right? Your mom has a secret underground fortune. Tell a lair business. Mm, okay. My mom is a fortune teller? But how? How did I not know that? <laughs> fortune teller? That's so lame. <laughs> yeah, we wanted cults, okay? We wanted witchcraft. And what does that even mean? Is she some kind of witch? The next thing she did was pick up her wand and start circling the women. And then they started floating. One of the women? fell over onto her knees and started rolling her head around and laughing. I couldn't watch anymore. Uh, I ran to my yeah. room feeling sick. I wonder if my dad knew what my mom was doing down there. Roll, making women roll around and laugh? I don't think, I don't think that's part of the fortune telling job description. Surely he'd know about the room. It doesn't feel right that my mom is doing this kind of magic stuff in our house. I feel so worried that bad things might start happening to us. I don't know if I should talk to my mom and tell her I know what she's up to. Now it all makes sense. Why she didn't ever want me to come down and join them? What if it's dangerous? I really don't know what to do. What do you think of this story? <laughs> That's where it ends. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. Hey, what, do you, what do you think of this one? Did you like this one? <laughs> that is so unsatisfying. What on earth is that story? My mom's spooky. I don't know why she goes down into the basement into her secret room. And then I found out she was doing some weird magic stuff. It might be dangerous. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's weird. I understand now why it was, is the least liked story on my story animated. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. At least now they speed run a finish. They actually give you something at the end. That just. That just. What? That just stopped. Anyway, get some of the sweet, cute lemon cotton merch. It's got a cute, sweet little lemon cotton on it, and. I will see you guys next time.